Gearbox Ranch Granny here today. Oh, I'm so glad you came. Well, this is one more idea for leftover chicken. I love these recipes in the summer because you cook a big amount, put it in the refrigerator, and then the rest of the week you can cook these little special meals without absolutely heating your kitchen completely up. It's a great idea, and I just love it. And Paul thinks I slave over the stove. Well, you know, whatever makes him happy, that's what I say. So, we're going to start with, I've already cooked uh, 8 ounces of pasta. And in that 8 ounces, I added 1 cup of um, ranch dressing. And I stirred it up real good, and I put that in the refrigerator. And I've got my chicken cut, about three cups is what I use today for this recipe. And it's in the refrigerator. So right now, I've got about a teaspoon of olive oil. And we're going to heat that up. And to that teaspoon, we're going to add quarter teaspoon to half of chopped onions. Now, we've got to grill these until they're clear. That's real important because it brings out the sugar in the, in the onions and just makes it wonderful. And you know how it is. When you put a little sweet for your sweets, it just makes things a little better. Now once I get that mixed in, I add one teaspoon of garlic powder. Now if you have garlic cloves, one garlic clove mince is even better. But I didn't have none, so we're cheating and using the, the garlic powder. Now I just stir that up, and it doesn't take a lot of olive oil, you see. Just enough so that we can get those onions clear. It And it just adds that little bit of extra flavor. You know, there's already onion powder and there's already garlic powder in ranch dressing. We're just adding a little more. Now, if you like salt, at this point I'd go ahead and add a little salt. We're not big salt eaters, so I don't add any additional salt. Um, I use a lot of garlic powder, a lot of parsley to season my food. Uh, one of my favorites is uh, Italian spices. I just think it makes it makes things absolutely. But this is great because it's going to be a cold pasta salad. And you know how it is on a hot day. Nothing better than a cold pasta salad. And you can see these onions are starting to get a little clearness to them. So we get them all cleared. And this is super quick. You take one day to get your meats cooked, and you know, that big old turkey at Thanksgiving, and you're running out of ways to use it up. These recipes are awesome. They just they can be done with any light meat, a turkey, a rabbit, chicken, pheasant, I don't know about duck, that's kind of a fatty meat. You can see my onions are getting clear and they're getting a little browning and that browning is coming from the garlic. Now we're going to roast corn and this is 12 ounces of frozen corn. And I like my fire to be pretty hot because we're going to scorch this corn. It's pretty much already frozen corn is pretty much cooked and you just cook it to heat it up to make it taste good. Um, you can use canned if you drain it real well. The flavor is totally different. Um, now, 
if you have a barbecue and you have some corn on the cob left, oh, let me tell you, child, that makes it absolutely out of this world. Just take a, cut them kernels off that corn, give it a little soft hand, and we're going to brown it just a hair, not a lot. Just enough to bring out that corn flavor. Oh, makes it absolutely delicious. And it's something you know when you end up with two ears of corn, you say, should I throw it out? What am I going to do with two ears of corn? And if you barbecue chicken, if you um, cook chicken outside, if you cook a lot, Take some of it, put it back, use it for these recipes. Get you a couple of rotisseries, keep them in the refrigerator. These are all great things to do in the summer when you just don't want to spend two hours in front of a stove. Now this is not quite... I like it to be a little, have a little color to it, a little darkness. But I got a good high fire, so that'll do it. Now, this is hot and my pasta's cold. And my chicken's cold. So what I'm going to do is as soon as I get this corn just like I want it, I want you guys to see this. Granny's going to teach you how to make that man happy. And if your man's like mine, he thinks corn and potatoes is in every meal. But he does let me sometimes get away with pasta. Just once in a while. Gotta do something special. Okay, you can see the little dark spots showing up now. Now this is hot, and I really don't want it real hot when I add it to my pasta. So I'm going to grab my cold chicken and my pasta. There's my pasta. Now this chicken is cold, cold, and I'm going to turn off the fire, and I'm sticking it in here with my corn, and this will help chill that corn down just a little bit, so when I stick it with the pasta, it's not too hot. Wait.